Hey guys, this is Jeff from the Blockchain Bandits and today I'm actually going to be speaking about an ICO. I know um, if you've listened to the podcast or you've spoken to me, you know I'm not a huge fan of initial coin offerings. I prefer to see a um, like I prefer to see a coin actually work before investing and I'm, I still I still do. But one has caught my eye and I'm very interested in seeing how this pans out. And this is block mesh. And basically what it is, is a network that allows you to basically get um, free mobile data or free mobile communication um, or earn money by basically um, using your mobile phone and your Wi-Fi as a host. So essentially your Wi-Fi ends up paying for itself because um, your phone gets and your Wi-Fi gets used as a um, host. So how it works essentially is, um, and the problem it's addressing is um, that a lot of people uh, in um, third world countries uh, and um, maybe in disaster zones, they don't have, they might not have access to the internet or um, via their mobile phones or anything. And this is one way to address it. What it does is it uses people who are using the network, your phone, basically is acts as a internet relay a mobile relay so instead of having to connect to a satellite or some sort of uh, mobile phone um, stand or um, basically relay it uses your phone and all the phones that are participating in the network and you can send messages through it receive messages send funds and it's all secured um, the block mesh company is a uh, based in South Africa and I think that is probably why they they've they basically seen they've they've addressed they've seen the problem firsthand probably and um you know um apparently according to the um statistics 60 percent of the um world population has no internet access which is ridiculous if you think about it um, it's the token's going to be based on ERC twenty. So if you know that, that's an Ethereum coin. They're actually partnered with Bancor, so that means um, loads of different types of ERC twenty tokens are going to actually be able to be used on um, on the block mesh network. You're also going to be able to developers are also going to be able to develop apps on top of it as well with something they called uh, Mesh Dev. Um, the team seems really good. Um, they've got a really good team of people. People have worked in IBM, as you can see, look, Bancor down here. Um, they've worked with, and um, yeah, let's look at it in a bit more detail so I can actually um, get down to the nitty gritty of it, basically. So as you can see, um, there's going to be 2 billion total tokens, um, ERC20 structure. Uh, you can either get paid to use your mobile pho phone um, Wi-Fi or get paid to just uphold a network without using your Wi-Fi and just participating in the in the um, in the network and how it works is for example if someone was sending a message from A to B as you can see here in their little diagram the message kind of pings off those little phones in the network until it gets to a, its destination and none of these phones can pick up that message because your message will be secured by um, something called an ECC, which is ele uh, elliptic curve um, cryptography, which is super secure. It is it's super secure. And at the same time, it takes less data than a lot of other uh, cryptographic op options. Um, the NSA, um, uh, which is, if you don't know, is one is the uh, an intelligence agency in the US and other US government um, top secret agencies have actually said that um, ECC is probably one of the most secure crypt cryptographic options they have and they use it to secure um, they, they would use it I don't know if they are using it for sure I can't confirm that but they would use it to secure um, top secret files so um, yeah that's really impressive that they're they're going down that route um it also has applications in the, into the internet of things which um they which would give iota some comp competition which i think is healthy um and i'm glad that they're here and um 
I am definitely going to be keeping an eye on um, Block Mesh and the Mesh Net, which is the name of the network. Um, so it'll just you'll either you can earn money again from your mobile phone um, using the Wi-Fi, or it does a bit of um, proof of work and upholds the network that way, and it's really tiny amount. Um, it won't burn out your phone or anything like that because these it's it, it's on a um, it's on a, a much um, smaller scale um and i think what has attracted me to this is the the uses people are going to be able to get free mobile data free internet access um and people who are paying for their internet access will be getting it for free essentially because then they could they can host their internet and earn money through it and you could probably you could end up being profitable from it instead of it just basically cancelling out your um your bill or maybe it makes your bill a bit cheaper depending on what it is so at the end of the day um it's kind of a win-win sort of um situation i'm not going to go into too much detail i want you guys to go and um look into this yourselves if you're interested i want you to go and read the whole white paper um and because I, I would always advise that before you make an investment, you need to make um, you need to be informed and um, do the research yourself. Um, yeah, it it looks very very promising. I'm very impressed by this. Um, as to see, um, they're talking about the Internet of Things here and uh, Mesh Dev, where people can build um, applications in the network, um, advertising. Oh, and the security. See the elliptic curve crypto system um that impressed me a lot um yeah so yeah go and go and have a look at it um guys this looks um pretty pretty um cool well if you're interested that is you don't have to take a look at it maybe this isn't your thing but i'm very impressed because um especially considering it's um you know basically incorporating the internet of things and it seems like something that would be decent competition for iota which i'm a fan of and i want to see improve so if iota is going to improve it needs more competition and also there's another option um as an investor i like to basically i don't like to put all my eggs in one basket and now there's another another option but like i said i don't like icos or banking on something before i could see it work so i think i'll be waiting for it to come out. i think it comes out in february um yeah so yeah um thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video or you found it informative please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already um thank you for listening and see you next time mm -hmm.